back to me, I'm my family fun. Today we are going to read a lot of books because I thought they would be perfect. I'm going to read Hello Santa. Never give a fish an umbrella. The biggest snowman ever. Care Bear Caring Contest. The biggest Valentine ever. Lovable, fairly old Grover's resting places. Would you like to play hide and seek in this book with a level fur thing? Just me in the bathtub. The ABCs of cookies. And just a friend of me. So the first, very first book we're going to read is... Furry Old Grover's Place. Now you may be asking, Vanessa, I brought this on my camera. No, I didn't. I'm letting you look out the window since the window's open. And the people who watch our videos every single day. It's just for the people who are new to my channel of my real life. Lovable old furries resting places. So he's looking for some toys. Did I ever show you my collection of resting places? No. And by the way, you can see a little rat in there. This is a, this is a resting place. Let me show you how it works. So it's a circle. He quickly grabs that. The picture's like. It is a rainbow resting place. See, I put my cute but tired little elbow on the elbow resting place. And I'm practically no time. It's per it's all perky again. So this little circle with an elbow resting. That's made its own thing. Would you like to try it? Just put your elbow right on it the way Grover did. There, it is not that restful. Is it not that restful? Let's try not very comfy. Now wait, I'll show you another resting place. So he's getting, he has paint. The rat is back. Digging in his, looks like craft, art and craft. Aha, uh -huh, I found another one. Are you ready to try it? All right, what's it gonna be? Behold, my ear resting place. All of my all time favorite. Try putting your tired old ear right on it. Now rest the other one. It works for both of them. So this is the ear resting. I'll let it try. Eh, it's not very comfy either. This is a forehead resting place. Go ahead, put your forehead right on it. So that's the forehead. I'm gonna try. No, I can smell the book. This is the thumb resting place. If your thumb is exhausted, let it Take a little nappy poo right here. Is that not comfy? Look at his room. It's a mess. You will simply adore this next racing place. Let's see. He's making a mess. I'll give you a little hint what it is. If you have been smelling a lot lately, this is the resting place to rest your smeller on. Your nose. He's getting another resting place. Oh, God. A nose resting place. Put your tired old nose on this resting place. In no time, you'll be smelling like new. Ow, oh, that is uncomfortable. That is a new thing. You have more resting place on this teeny weeny one. It's a belly button resting place. Put your belly button over the belly button resting place. I'll make sure it line up exactly. Go for it. I'm not going to show you, though. I'm going to try. I can't even get it up right. So that is the belly button. But why would your belly button be even higher? I don't understand. Whoa, I thought it would be easy holding up a teensy little belly button resting place. When you rested it in your belly button, I, I forgot that any place you rest your belly button, knows, it's also the rest of your belly. Whew, when I'm practically squished. So he's like all tired. Hold on, there's lots of more resting places. The trouble is that there's also a lot of other things in here. Why would there? He looks so angry. I better be careful. I'll make a mess. So we can see. Look at this mess. 
Look, she's like, oh no. So go over to the side and there's a toy box. This is a chin wrapping plate. Sharp your droopy chin. What does it look like? Put your chinny chin chin right next to give it a grasp. That's it's all you write if you have a beard. Right. Chalk. Let's do it this way. Ow, that kinda hurts. Look, here are my hands. Here are my hand resting place. This is the left hand resting place. My hand is much bigger than that. Look. It's not very common. And this is the right hand resting place. Be my guest. So let's try. No. But you can see the rats leaving. There's another one over there. I still haven't found the rest but I know it's in here. Don't go all the way. I want you to see it. So he made a big mess. Here it is! The very special thing we races I've been waiting for. Is that a feet rest? My feet is so big, they will not fit on it. Resting place. It just fits right now. I go over. I'm now rushing this cup of B. So it's just for go over. In fact, I think I'll go to sleep right here and not wake up until tomorrow morning. If you have a resting place, well, you know what you say. And then he fell asleep. But now you have a problem. See, he's. So that was lovable, furry resting places. My friend and me. So there's jump roping. And he's exhausted. I asked mom if I could have a friend over because I just don't want to play alone. So she's mowing and he's bored. There's just so many things we could do. Just my friend and me. So he's calling up the friend. And then he sees his friend outside. First, we could climb an apple tree. I could climb higher if I really wanted to. So he's climbing the tree. He, he climbed the highest. Then we'll play in my tree house. My friend says only babies use a ladder. So he says only babies use ladders. I use ladders. Next, we play hide and seek. I hide so that my friend will not ever find me. So he's hiding it under a bush. And he's like, where did he go? Hmm? But he's hiding in a bush. We don't like playing with racing cars, and if they don't work very well in the water, though. So he accidentally put his car in the water, and I guess they don't work well in the water. We like to play basketball, too. I could get the ball if I really tried. So I'm guessing he's taller than him. Next, we'll play my new baseball and my little scooter bat. So he hit that ball hard. My friend likes to hit the ball. Because he doesn't like to chase it. So he hit that ball hard. Then we have a jump rope contest. My friend could jump a hundred times. I could do that. But sometimes I let my best friend win. I sit on my swing tattoo. too. Next time we'll separate. The next time we'll separate the swings. So I fell off the swing that broke. I take turns doing. I take turns doing daredevil. On my new bike. My friend tries to stand on the seat. Why is he so scared? Because he fell off the bike. It's only bent a little. I bet dad can fix it when he gets home. So he's crying. My mom takes care of our cuts and bruises. My friend cries a lot. I only cry a little. Taking good care of him. After we finish playing, we pick up my toys and put them away. My friend says he'll look away the comics. So he's reading the comics while his best friend is putting away all of the toys. When my friend, when my best friend's mom comes to pick them up, I will say goodbye. It's nothing's worse than saying goodbye to your friends. We always had fun when it's just my friend and me. 
sometimes it's great to just be alone. And then you can see a little portrait of him. You guys all have friends that like to come over too. Next book is the biggest snowman ever. There's big snowmen out there too. I don't know how they get them really high. You can see they're playing in the snow. Biggest snowman ever. Once upon a time there was two mice who fell in love with the same snowman. And this is how it happened. You see they're high fiving because you can see the biggest snowman in the background. On a bright winter day, the mayor of the Mouseville announced the tall the town snowman contest. Whoever makes the biggest snowman will win a prize, he declared. All the mice were excited. The judging of the contest will take place in two weeks, said the mayor. Good luck to all of you. I'm going to make a really big snow princess, said Penelope. I'm going to make a really big snow monster. So you can see they have their wagon that they're going to carry the things on. I'm going to make the biggest snowman ever, said Queen. The house friend, mouse. His friend jumps in the field, mouse growled. No, you're not. I'm going to make the biggest snowman ever. Oh, yeah, said Clayton. Oh, oh, yeah. So I'm guessing they're like best friends. And they're like, no, I'm going to make the biggest snowman. No, I am. That night it snowed and snowed. Huge drifts are covered in driveways and fields. So they're getting a lot of snow, and that's good. It was a perfect beginning for the snowman contest. In the town, Penelope began her snow princess and James began his snow martin. Out in the town, Clayton and began their snow martin. You can see the rolling balls. Clayton made a snowman snowball and rolled it along the ground. The more he rolled, the bigger it got. Before long, he had a large base for a snowman. You can see there's a big snowball. Not far away, Deathman was doing the same thing. So, you can see, he's, he rolled it down the hill and he scared that little bird. Next day, Clayton made a huge snowball for the snowman's belly. You can see, there's a little worm. Not far away, Deathman did the same thing. So, I'm guessing they're both doing the same thing. Next night, Clayton brought his dad to out to see the snowman. Dad scratched his head, I don't know, so it's going to be big. And I'm not sure it's going to be the biggest. Clayton smiled up at him. I'm just getting started, he said. So he's showing his dad the snowman. He thought it wasn't big enough to win the contest. Dad was pretty good. The more impressive was the real bell of the killer snow. See the snowman is just resting. A little later, Desmond brought his uncle Ronan. I don't know, said Bird. It's gonna be big, but will it be the biggest? Dustman smiled. I'm just getting started, he said. See the little worm. First, I whispered in his ear. I'm gonna try to use the wear barrel. So they're doing the same thing. It's like they're talking to each other, but they're not. The next day, Clayton filled his wear barrel with the snow. He piled the snow onto the snowman. Then he rolled another snowball for the snowman's head. So they're having a wheelbarrow to carry the snow in. Not far away, Death, but it's the same thing. So they're both using wheelbarrows and both trying to build a big snowman. Two days later, Despin ran into the town to look at James Snowman, Martin Penelope Snow Princesses. Hmm, so all of our snow people are the same size. After the new made the same new discovery. All the snowmans are the same size. The next day, while working on the snowman, Clayton had an idea. He brushed the snow off his glove and went walked towards Dustman. At the same moment, Dustman had an idea. He brushed the snow off his glove and walked towards Clayton. The snowman is the same size as everyone else's. They bumped into each other and fell over. So they bumped into each other. It's like they know what and I have an idea, said Clayton. I have an idea, said Dustman. We should do this together. Said Clayton. No, we should do this together, said Clayton. No, one of us said we couldn't. So, does Dustman. So, they both have the same ideas. First, they 
rolled each part of the Desmond snowman over the middle of the field. So they're piling up their snow wheelbarrow. Then they rolled each part of the Clayton snowman over. So they're starting to make the biggest snowman. They piled the snows on top of one another together. Clayton dropped a floppy hat on the snowman's head. Desmond added a long scarf, huge coral eyes, and a giant carrot nose. You can see they're doing good on it so far. When they were done, they had to build the biggest snowman ever. So they got each one. There, he got his dad and his uncle, and they are surprised. The morning of the contest, field mice on the snowmobiles brought the judges to the country. So you can see. All of them are riding to you. There, no man. You both win the prize, said the mayor, handing Clayton a Desmond a large wedge of Swiss cheese. Let the celebration begin! Everyone gathered to dance around the snowman, drink hot cocoa, and eat donuts. So they got a big slice of cheese, and they're all having donuts and hot tea. We did it, said Clayton Desmond, jumping up the down. We did it! So they built the biggest snowman ever. You can see. You can see them running. So that was the biggest snowman. Next is the biggest valentine ever. Notice, they're both by the same offer. Stephen Kroll, Stephen Kroll. Jenny Bassett, Jenny Bassett. So they're both by the same offer. So it's gonna be about two months. So they're making Valentine's, as you see. There were two in love with the same Valentine, but they didn't start out that way. See, they're checking the calendar and it's Valentine's Day. The day before Valentine's Day, Miss Mouse Mousley asked all the students in her class at Mouseville School to make a Valentine card. The two friends, Clayton and Desperate, decided to make a card together and give it to Mousley as a surprise. You can see they're in school and they're all going to make Valentine's. Clayton cut out a big heart out of cardboard. Desperate made a heart-shaped hole in the middle. Desperate cut out some small pink hearts and pasted them around the hole, then he added a few more. So they're making a big Valentine. Clayton glued glitter on the hearts, and then he glued on more glitter. He stepped back. You put too many hearts on, Clayton said. Desmond knows that. You put too much glitter on hearts. So they're finding out the Valentine is ruined. Well, why don't you make that hole in the middle? Asked Clayton. I thought it looked nice, said Clayton. So they don't like the Valentine. I don't think it looks nice. It looks awful, yelled Kate Clayton. I think it looks very nice, said Desmond, frowning. They glared at each other. You can see he's looking at them. These ones are concentrated. I don't want to make a valentine with you, yelled Clayton. So they, he doesn't want to make a valentine with them. I don't want to make a valentine with you, yelled Desmond. So he doesn't want to make that either. They tore the valentine in half. I'm going to make my own valentine, said Clayton. I'm going to make my own valentine, said Despin. So they both ripped that in half. It was so cute. That night at dinner, Clayton's dad said, Son, you look sad. Can I help? Clayton hung his head. He told dad about the valentine. So they are all at dinner, and he's sad. Clayton's dad thought, from, You guys may make it nice valentines on your own, but I think it would be nicer to valentine together. So they went heart on the heart. At the same time, over at Desmond's house, Uncle Burns said exactly the same thing. So they have their window open. And, you no, know, it's probably hot in their house. But Clayton didn't listen to his dad. He went back to his room and began to make his very own round time. So he's gonna, he has all the things he needs. He put a big heart out of cardboard, but he didn't put a hole in the middle. He, he put pink hearts around the edge, but not enough pink hearts. So you can see that's what his room looks like. The so Clayton put then Clayton put but it was too much glitter. He stepped back and looked at his Valentine. It just wasn't right. So he's looking at his Valentine and he's thinking that's not enough for the future. At the same time, Desmond was making his very own Valentine. He cut out a big heart out of the cardboard, but he wasn't good at cutting the large things. And his heart was lopsided. See, he's doing it the same thing as him, too. He 
made a neat heart-shaped hole in the middle, but then he put too many hearts around the hole. He sprinkled some glitter, but not enough glitter. So he's looking at his valentine, and it's just not perfect. That's been stuck back and looking at his valentine, but that was just right. See, his room is more tidier than, um, what's the other kid's name? Clayton. Tighter than Clayton's the next morning, Clayton and Desmond took the school bus. They sat far away from each other, but they were getting off. Desmond tripped on the stairs. He bumped into Clayton and fell down. So they both fell down off the school bus. I think maybe I should, we should make our own. I think we should try to make our own one again, said Clayton. No, we, no one said we couldn't, said Desmond. So they're going to get along again. In our class, Clayton and Desmond put their all their heads together and came up with a plan. Clayton cut out the biggest, most perfect red heart anyone has ever seen. They added pink art and the pink art to fit in the middle. So they're making a pretty big valentine. Then Despin, who was good at cutting small things, cut out some teeny pink hearts and pasted them onto their big red heart. Clayton added some glitter. So he's cutting out the small things. And then... Put some glitter on. Despin made a nose on one of the mischievous eyes. So he's putting a mischievous eye that glued all the hearts together. They stepped back and looked their card. It was a giant mouse, so they made a cute little mouse. Wow, said Clayton, we did it! Wow, said Despin, we did it together. They gave each other a high five. So they love their Valentine. They cut out a lace dolly and glued it around the edge. So they're adding more decorations than they wrote on their card with big letters. Happy Valentine's Day to Mrs. Mouse, the way we love you, Clayton and Desmond. So they wrote on a card. They carried the Valentine to the classroom and gave it to Mrs. Mousy. She clapped with a delight. The whole class cheered. It was the biggest Valentine ever. It was also the best. So the teacher loved it. And here's another one, the biggest pumpkin ever, and you can see like there's Valentine scraps. Never give a fish an umbrella. Never give a fish an umbrella. So there's a cheetah. There was a certain present you should never give certain answers. For intense. You see, there's all the animals, and all these kids have to guess for all the animals. You should never give a fish an umbrella. You should never give a chicken lipstick. So you put on the lipstick down. You should never give a sheep a sweater. So he's really hot. She's drinking lemonade. She's wiping her sweat off. And she's using a hand. But she's not. Like that. a sweater. Or a line of permitted. Look at his hair. Oh. A rat. <laughs> or snakes. Sneakers. God, they're so creepy. You should never give an ostrich golf club. A kangaroo and a pogo stick. So they already jumped really high. And, and look at the kids. So like, <gasps> they already jumped really high. And the pogo stick jumps really high. Or... A centipede. She never gave a porcupine a balloon. So you can see the porcupine had a balloon in the For a mask or a raccoon. So you got a birthday party. Or a bass, a bad song. You can see he's blowing on it. And they blew all the animals up. She never gave an octopus boxing gloves. So they're fighting, and the girl's like, <gasps> or a clam, a kazoo. So the kid can't sleep because he got a kazoo. And we'll never give a turtle a griddle. Go like, oh. or a pen from a sports coat. Or a leopard, a polka dot tie. So the polka dot tie, you can't even see the tie unless you lift it up and then you're like, oh, you have a tie. She never gave a pole bear roar skate. Oh, yeah. This ice is slippery. A rabbit earmuffs. 
so their ears are big, and they're giving them ear bumps. Or about sunglasses. And never give a monkey a marker. An elephant a hanky. So they think that's very loud. A hippo a tricycle. So he they she crushed the tricycle. The bird's like, oh it's okay. A peacock a mirror. A giraffe a turtleneck sweater. Because the giraffe doesn't like to see the other giraffe. A crocodile, a toothbrush, or a dental floss. A duck, a baseball cup, and flippers. Those flippers are a little bit too big on the duck. Or a pig, a silverware, and a pig. Look, all that food is from the pig. And he's like, oh no, the girl is trying to eat her peas, but she only has two. Don't worry, we can only give your peas. And that poor the hippo on is on the back. The ABCs of cookies. So this is basically an ABC doll. For one dollar. And bus is from Sesame Street. So you can see he's cooking up some dough. ABC and ABC is for offer which matches with hat. So he this is an apple. B is for butter, and so you need butter. C is for cat. No. C, not cat today. Elmo, C for cookies. Okay, okay. D is for dishes. You made a tower. So he made a very big plate tower. But think of it when it crushes down and it breaks. E is for eggs, and F is for flour. G is for Grover. Oh no. You see, spilled all his dough. Let me start over. H is for honey, so there's using honey. I is for icky. Oscar. L is for lemon juice, so they're squirting some lemons. M is for moth, so he doesn't like the moth. And this for nutmeg. I don't know what that is. O is for oven. P is for pan, but first you put your glove on. You don't want to burn your head safe on the like G is for quack. Don't worry, no quack. Me making some cookies for an afternoon snack. Yeah, true. He isn't, he isn't lying. R is for raisins. Golden and sweet. So they're having cookies. U is for mmm is the way to warm cookies taste. So we love cookies. V is for Valentine. Or Valentine shape. W is for whipped cream. Swirled on the top door, give a squeeze, and then X marks the spot. Y helps you say, ooh, these cookies are yummy and Big Bird thinks they're yummy. Z is for zero. They're all in their tummy. So zero cookies left. You can see. Back. He's cooking. Just me in the tub. You can see he's in the tub all by himself. When I take a bath, there are lots of things that I have to do. So he's taking this frog in the bath with him. First, I start to run the water in the tub. I like to be nice and warm. Sometimes it takes a little water. It takes a little while to get the water just right. So he's setting up the water. First, I put bubble stuff, and I have to be careful not to pour too much. So he dropped the bubbles, and he put too much bubbles in. While the water is running, I get my towel and my wash. I like little fluffy big towels, so the frog can enjoy and make my towels. I get my pajamas too. I always look for the clean ones. So he's getting all the stuff out. And he finds the perfect pajamas. 
I'm gonna take my claws off and get into the tub. So he takes off his clothes and gets in the tub. When the water is deep enough, I turn it off. If I let the runner too much, I can splash it on the floor. So he poured a little bit too much and it splashed on the floor. I always wash before I play in my bath. I start with my face, then my hair, then my feet, then my hands, my arms and legs, between my toes. I can't reach my back, so I use a brush for that. Then it's time to play with toys. If I forget sometimes, I never bother the mom. I just go get them. You can see he left the water. Splash. I can't take my stuffed animals into the tub, but I bring them into the bathroom so they won't be left out. I like to play with my pirate ship in the tub. Sometimes my pirate ship is caught in a terrible storm and it ends up starting on the desert. You can see the frog is on and it tipped over. I have pots and pans to play with in the tub too. I like to make my bubble cakes, but they don't taste too good. So he likes to taste them and they don't taste good. I can make myself look like Santa Claus. I play in the tub until my mom says it's time to come out. So it's, she tells him it's time to come out. I knew it was time because the water was getting cold. When I get out of the tub, I step on the flat so I won't splash water everywhere. So he's turned carefully stepping on the towel. Sometimes my mom comes in and helps me dry off. So he's helping to dry off. And then I put on my nice clean pajamas. I always remember to let the water drain out of the tub, but sometimes I forget about my toys. Just I wet the floor just to make it splash a little. Then he scrubs it. And I put my dirty clothes in the in the in the basket. I take taking a bath can be a real job. But if I always make but it always makes me feel warm and cozy, so they're reading a bedtime story and we see another little photo of him. Next we're gonna read a short book, it's called Hello Santa. Hello Santa! We're gonna go visit Santa Claus. So he's gonna wear his hat. Let's go see Santa Claus. Let's get dressed in our best Christmas clothes. So they're getting dressed in a good outfit. We'll tell Santa what we want for Christmas. So he wants a radio thing, a doll, and a phone. What should we ask for this year? We want a controller, a baseball, and a thing. And a skateboard. Hello, Santa! So they're rushing to Santa. We're all excited to see you. Christmas, you've been good this year. Thank you, Santa. What a perfect Christmas. So they get the gifts they want. And you can see Santa on the back. Would you like to play hide and seek on this book? Lovely furry old Grover. Oh, I just love hide and seek. It's truly one of the greatest great Would you please play with me? Yeah, she will play. You would? Joy! You will never be it. You will... Now you will be it. And I, Grover, will go and hide, okay? Count to ten before you turn the page. We're not going to count to ten. Nope. This is a good page to start off. Nice and clean and nothing on it. Let's see where we can hide so you cannot find it. Hmm. So he's trying to find a good place to hide. Up on here on the top of the page. No, you would see me here, would you? So you can see Grover. Down here at the bottom of the page? No, you would see me here. Even if I hold my tummy in. Maybe if I can squeeze into the crack in the middle. So he's hiding at the bottom and he's still tall. Ouch! Oh, no! I do. Do you know something? There are not many pages for a monster to hide in like this. So he got crushed. Oh no, I'll take my finger paint and color the whole next page blue. So when I stand in front of you, you cannot see me. So he's gonna paint the page. Okay, I'm all in. You will never find me here, and it will take you from the fact that you were looking right at me. Glad you have you found me. What? You did not count. I have another idea. Count to ten before you turn the page. Fine, we'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
unlovable smart old grover will say many 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 words and then there will be lots of these funny white balloons with the weapons behind them belly button marco bush so when he says them you can't see them hey froggy baby ladybugs litter, litter bugs little rugs Kitty Bugs, Toothbrush, Car, what's the name of this song? Mr. Green Jeans, please pass the peanut butter, popcorn, toss those now I'm completely covered with little words and with blue. I'm not ever, never. We can still see it. You found me again? Alright, alright. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Now I'm really gonna hide. No peeking. Maybe if I paste it like tape. No? Pooey. Paste it on them. Or I can scrunch the pages all around me. How about that? No good. You can still see Kroger. And if you know I were my good friend, I would try to hide. Even if I saw him, he could pretend that you did not see me. If you were a good friend, you could. Or I'll hide one more time. Do you see Grover? Please say no. Please, please. Oh no. Say no before you turn the page. You can still see Grover. Nope. You said no! You did not see me? Oh, thank you, thank you. Do you know what? You are my best friend. Oh, and he's crying. I'm gonna see him on the back. All right, we're gonna read this one last book, Care Bear Caring Contact. We read this yesterday, but if you haven't seen this, we're gonna read it. <sighs> one day, Cheer Bear decided to hold on a care of clock contest. Okay, Cross will go to the bear who shows the best way to kind, she said. First annual care lot show. So, see, there is a heart one. Bear Bear took the contest very seriously. Friend Bear was the first way to, I'm thinking, is turned with a favorite toy. Let's see. She's sharing her kite. Share by making sure she had enough treats for everyone. Help yourself. She passed out yummy, yum, yummy rainbow bars. So those are yummy rainbow bars. When Wish Bear wanted to push on her swing, Good Luck Bear was there. Lucky you stopped by, said Wish Bear. Caring is helping when you're needed. Good luck there, replied. So he's pushing him on the swing. During the afternoon, Grumpy saw a way to care for Friend Bear. Caring, said Grumpy. The best way is sharing your umbrella in the rain. When Cher Bear didn't feel too well, feel well, some of her friends visit her, comforting someone who is sick, but you can really care. So, put caring for her. Caring is making someone laugh when he's sad, said Funshine Bear. He juggled with his plane broke, and she's going to juggle some stars. We can show by letting you go ahead of me in line, Wish Bear told Level Up Bear. I'd love to. Level Up Bear, thanks. Wish Bear couldn't fall asleep at night time, so bedtime Bear went for a sweet dream story to show how he cared. Love a lot, Bear showed how to care by giving Tender Heart Bear a big hug. I love you, Tender Heart Bear, she said. So they're hugging. Cheer Bear thought all the Care Bears had done a wonderful job of caring, but who should she pick at the winning of the contest? First annual Care Lock Caring Contest. Care Bear made her announcement. The winners of the Care Lock Contest are all of you because everyone wins when you care for others. Then she proudly handed out the prize. Cupcakes! Now we can show how much we care about using these prizes for our friends. Said Cher, Care Bear, said other. That's why they did. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, daily question is in the description below. See ya!